Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be about how to make pine needle tea from the eastern white pine. This tea is, in my opinion, delicious to drink. It's excellent for your body. It has vitamins and antioxidants in it. And it also is something you could add to your list of survival skills if you learn how to make it, as this tea was traditionally drank by settlers and early Americans and probably people all over the world, especially during the winter to help them survive and avoid scurvy, as this tea is high in vitamin C. It's very simple to make, so I decided to make this video to share my knowledge with you on how to make it. The first thing you'll want to do is put some water on to boil. Next, you'll need to find yourself some pine needles. I'm using needles from the eastern white pine. This is a pine tree that makes edible tea. You really want to be careful what type of pine you're using because some pines are toxic and can actually kill you, so make sure you know what you're looking at. I put these boughs in some water on my kitchen table to try and keep them fresh longer. I got these about a week prior to this video in the forest. They fell naturally from the trees after a snowfall. The eastern white pine, the branches do fall after snow falls, so it's a good time to go collect some branches if you want to have some because it doesn't require you to harm the tree. As you can see, I'm pulling off some needles here to show you. The eastern white pine needles are long and they come in bunches off of the stems and they are in groups of five. So that's one way you can identify the eastern white pine. This video, I'm not really gonna go into identification too much. There you can see the little end, how they look when they come off in bunches. They all grow from one little shoot off the branches. For the next step, you want to break or cut the needles. I'm using scissors for convenience, but you can do this with your hands as well. You want to break and bruise them so that when you put them in your water, you'll get the most of the fluids out of them. The pine needle tea is high in vitamin C, and it's also high in vitamin A, and it has antioxidants, which is really awesome. It's a great tea to drink. Here the water is ready, so I'm about to pour it over my needles that I've prepared. I just break them up a little bit more before pouring the water over to try and crush and bruise them just a bit more. Once they're prepared, you pour the water over the needles. And I let this tea steep for about 10 minutes. I've seen other people do it for 5 minutes, 10 minutes. I don't really know if there's too long of a time you can let it steep, but I like to do 10 just to make sure that it has enough time to steep into the water so I'm getting the most benefits out of it. I stir it up here a bit with a spoon just to show you the needles and how it looks. After it steeps, the next step is to strain out the needles. Now don't do like I did here and use one mug into another mug. I should have used a pot with a little pouring ladle. So I went and put that into a pot to make it easier for me to pour. It was silly to use a mug. But as you can see, the needles fall into the strainer. A few needles escape and go into my drink, but I don't really mind. They settle to the bottom and it's not a big deal. But it would be difficult to drink if you left all the needles in, so straining them out is definitely good. Once the tea is made, it will be clear. It might have a slight color. If you put boiling water on them, then it will have a darker color. However, I don't like to put boiling water directly onto the needles, so I let the water come to a boil, but I let it cool a bit before pouring it over. The tea has a very mild kind of aromatic pine flavor. I quite enjoy, enjoy drinking it. I think it actually tastes quite nice. I'm sure that would differ from person to person whether you like it or not, but I hope this video helped you understand how to make the tea, and I hope you enjoy trying it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.